This is the smartest AI on the planet. That's how XAI opened the Grok4 presentation. Elon Musk personally introduced the new model and said, for the first time, artificial intelligence is capable of solving complex problems, including engineer tasks where the answers aren't just sitting on the internet or in any textbook. And the original presentation, I would say, was pretty technical, so it might have been hard to understand if you're not a programmer. That's why I decided to make this simple video to explain what actually cool and great the team did, what they're really working on, and why their current strategy, I would personally say, is impressive. Honestly, I think if they keep going like that, it's probably going to be the most practical AI for the real people, for all of us. And that's what matters. So first, I'm going to go to the presentation. I will a bit explain it, the important parts that I think important. And then in the end, I will tell what practical use cases they're already doing, what kind of collaborations they made, and what actually bringing Grok stand up over all of the other models. So first part, how Grok 4 was made and why it's special. Basically, any AI gets trained by showing tons of text and examples, so it learns how to give a good answers. With Grok4, XAI used about 10 times more data and computer power than before. That's why Grok4 is much smarter than Grok3, because it just saw way more stuff and had much more time to learn. But that's not most important. Most important that they changed the way how they train it. They were editing the key part, the tools, right from the start. What does it mean? The tools is a built-in helpers. Things like ability to web search or run a calculator, open the browser, execute a piece of code when needed. And from very beginning, the XCI team taught Grok how to use these tools, how to search online, analyze documents, run programs. It's kind of like teaching students not just from the textbook, but also actually showing them how to look things online in the library or use a computer. And this is very important. I just actually talked one day before with a programmer who trained those models, not the Grok, but others. And he said, if you add in more context, if you actually show AI what is the browser, how to search, how do people do it, it understands much better and it learns much faster. One of the big problems which AI is having right now and why their answers are not really satisfying to you might be just because AI does not really understand our world. It's not physically here. Just two examples. I'll give you just the text documentation or I give you text documentation and actually show you in which way you learn faster. Of course, the second one. So XAI team did the exactly same things to the Grok4. So the models isn't limited to just what they memorized, but it actually knows how to navigate the internet, filled up the data information and double check itself. For example, if you ask something about events happening this year or throw a really tricky question with no clear answer, the Grok4 can instantly search online or write and run the small program to make sure it's getting the right thing. So right now it's more like a partner for the logical resourcing. Another interesting update for you if you're using Grok or other models for work is they introduced a new model called Grok4 Heavy. This is a special mode when the model uses several agents, multiple copies of itself to work on the same task at once. Each Grok agent think through the question in parallel, share the ideas with the others, and in the end, they kind of comparing the answer and pick up the best one. It's more like a brainstorming session between several AIs, like one of them misses something or make a mistake, but the other one can catch up. And this way, the final answer becomes much more accurate because the multiple's brain are looking for the problem from the different angles. Because even the smartest AI can end up of following the wrong line of thinking, especially when it's really complex task. But when there's several of them working together, the chances that all of them make a mistake a much, much lower. And of course, this tool not just for fun, this tool is for work when you need accuracy. So the subscription to this mode right now costs $300.
Now let's a little bit talk about benchmarks. On the presentation, there was a lot of graphs, a lot of benchmarks, technical stuff. I'm not gonna go into that because I'm not a developer, you probably not as well. But I will talk only about one benchmark, which I think is impressive, not just because the team said, but because the another team who invented that benchmark admitted it. And this benchmark called ARC AGI. Also good to know. And this benchmark is one of the Tata's tests for checking AI flexibility. It's a specially designed benchmark to check that the model not just memorize knowledge, but its ability to learn on the fly, solve brand new problems like a human would. And up until now, even the most advanced models like Claude 4 scored around 8% correct on it. And anything under 10 is considered random noise, not like real intelligence. And Grok4 scored 15.9%. This is the first public AI to actually cross the line where the, you could say the real thinking begins. And you know, you would say, why should I believe it? Because every team basically say they're the model the best, they passes all the benchmarks. But here, I like it because ARC AGI team confirmed it. They wrote, we had Grok was good, but we did not expect it to take the number one spot. But what does it actually all mean, ARC, AGI, and passes this actual benchmark? This means that the Grok4 model right now are not just stuffed with a bunch of the facts. New Grok can learn new things while taking the test, like a real person, like we are. It's not the chat anymore, but it's an AI that can pick up new skills and apply them into real life. And here we come to the part when I'm going to show you how we can actually use it and why it's a practical AI, because you might say, okay, great, the AI scored a bunch of the points on a test. Why should I care? How does it affect my life? And honestly, overall, I think at this point, most of the AIs are already so advanced for everyday tasks. The difference between Grog, Chad, Claude, Gemini, not really that noticeable, I would say, for the regular task. And that's why I think right now every company like right now focusing on something specific parts where they can actually bring the value because for us much, much more important, not the super smarter AI, but the practical AI. And this is where every team right now are trying to find a way how to be more useful for us. And the Grok on this side, I think making a really good strategical decision. I will share it right now. I will share right now three abilities that can be applied in a real life. And I personally think the third one is the most exciting one. If they're going to just follow this direction, I think they're going to bring them success. Okay, so first one. And the first example is how businesses potentially can use the Grok. They did example with a business simulation with the vending machines. The XAI brought independent researchers who came up with a virtual experience called Vending Bench. In this test, different AIs were asked to act like a manager of a small vending machine business, selling the drinks and snacks. The task was over a long period, hundreds of simulation circles, like a days, make smart business decisions when and what to restock, what prices to set, how to respond on demand, when to offer discounts, how to manage inventory and finances. In this game, several AI models took a part. And in this test, they not only took different AI models, but also a real human manager. Just to check, maybe the human being manager gonna be better than AIs in this case. And here is the result. The Grok4 made most of the money during the simulation. It finished the game with around 4,694 in profit and sold about 5,000 items. The closest AI competitor is the Claude 4 and it earned about 2,000, roughly half as much. And the human manager, most funny part, the human manager made 444 in profit. Basically, over the course of the game, Grok beat the human manager over five, six times in total profit. And this is just because AI able to predict demand more accurately. It was managing the prices and inventory more efficiently. And this is the most important part in the business. For us, this is the example of how AI can actually help in business and finance from making long-term decisions and automate managing processes. And of course, real life is much more complicated, but the manager bot like this one, 
could advise businesses owners optimize logistics spot bottlenecks just because it can do it faster and more calmly than a human because we're all humans we have emotions we need to sleep sometimes we stress and so on so on you understand what i mean especially if you do business Another key point that developers emphasized is Grok4 isn't just right now solving abstract problems in a vacuum, it can also connect to the real world data. I think this is why X was bought by Elon Musk. For example, right now, as they say, you can put the live stocks prices or news update in real time and analyze them on the spot. And the combination of the real information plus strong logic makes a powerful forecasting tool. If to put simply, Grok4 right now can monitor news and numbers 24-7 and give you meaningful insights like, oh, based on a current trends, oil prices are expected to rise because and blah, blah, blah. And of course, well, it just came out. We need to spend time on testing it in practice and we'll see what it actually can do. If you already tested the Grok4, please write in the comments what do you think. But there is another, the third one, application. A really cool thing that I want to highlight separately is what they actually did. And I think, I honestly think this is like really, really great decision. Is Grok4 right now integrating with the Poly Market platform. If you haven't heard about that, Poly Market is basically a prediction market where people place bets on the real world events. Things like who's going to be the next president or will it be World War III? It's like a collective forecast where everyone votes with their own money of what they actually think the most likely. Crowd wisdom, basically. And now Grok4 officially can use this data. On the presentation, they were showing how does it work like sport predictions. So the Grok first look at the betting forecast on poly market, then monitors the social media like X, and based on all of it, gives your own forecast. So it's not just like, oh, I think this will happen. No, Grok explain where this probability came from and showing the resourcing behind it. And this is where two words combined, human prediction, intuition, and AI calculations. Because we are people, we are good at sensing moods, trends, because we're living in this world. And AI is great in spotting patterns and the hard facts. And together, wow, it might be a powerful tool because it means that you can create a service. Let's say the service for the apartments or houses and the people right now can ask, will apartment prices go up or down this year? Grok will pull up the data from the poly market. It will check what people actually saying in the X and in Telegram if the partnership really works. And I think it could give us a really cool insights. And of course, I think it needs to be tested. Of course, I think there might be some problems coming out, but the strategy and like the narrative, the direction, I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? Honestly, if you think about it, Grok4 used to have one big drawback. Sure, it's smart, it crushes test, but they started much later than like giants like OpenAI or Google, where they already have millions of users because OpenAI show up the most early. Google has a tons of services with AI built by default. That's why I was worried, like, what's the Grok gonna do? Because I like Grok. And then when I was discussing with my friends, it was like, like Grok right now potentially have the two most powerful social media the Telegram, the X, and this social media, when I say it's powerful, is because this is where actual real discussion happening. From science to crypto, people are real there. People are discussing things. Crypto folks, startup founders, scientists hanging out, where the fresh conversations happen, market, tech, discoveries. And I'm really happy that XCI made a really smart move here integrated in the social media networks. I personally think they should look in more into that, more like an AI for social medias for the people. This is where real power and this is practical things come from. Because imagine if the AI can actually predict things based on what people say. If you do marketing, you can predict certain things what happening, what they talking about your product or competitors. What do you think about that person? It can find, for example, all the information about that person, not only what he says about himself, but what the crowd say about himself. So I think if they're gonna go more narrow into AI for social media, for analyzing, researching, for me, Grok, only you, I'm gonna use only you. <laughs> because I think for us, for the people, not the benchmarks matters more, but when is the AI is actually helping? When is the AI actually can be practical? in certain things that we want it to be. 
And here I actually want to ask you about your opinion. What do you think could make Grok better? What is the functions or the things that you really want Grok have? Let's do it like this. Elon checks X. So I will publish this video also on X and we will write down on the comment and tag in Elon, what do we want Grok add? Because if only me or if he only you write this, the chance of getting noticed is small, but if we all gonna write under comments our own opinions, then it might get to the team. And of course, I don't have many followers right now yet, but we can bring value. I'm sure team needs it and team needs to hear us, what we really think, what we want, because it's gonna help to build better and better. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it. And of course, there is much, much more that was just a like kind of me trying to explain the presentation in more simple words. If you lack something, if you want me to improve or add some more information, please write down in the comments and I will read it. Bye-bye.